and welcome to my cartoon art school classes on how to draw fantasy characters. Now fantasy stories are full of amazing characters, dragons, dwarves, elves, dark lords. Now in the next few episodes coming up I'm going to show you how to draw all of those plus a lot more. So let's get started. Remember hit that subscribe button. Okay we're going to kick off with uh, one of the favourite nasty villains of fantasy fiction, the orc or the goblin. So what does it look like? Well, horrible actually, you know, you can make him as ugly as you like. But he also has to look menacing, powerful, because these are warriors. Okay, so let's create our orc or our goblin warrior. So I think the head will look a bit skull-like, so, we're, you know, we'll have the top of the head, like top of a skull, like that, uh, kind, of, kind of coming in like this. Make it fairly long. That kind of shape, okay. And again, as I said, it's a kind of powerful character. So uh, you know, broad shoulders coming out like this, coming down, pulled into his waist. You know, quite muscular, really, to the waist like that, and a fairly slim hip shape here, like that. You know, and again, that the leg, quite powerful, muscular thighs. You can, you know. Once you start to put the details in, you could put in all the hairs and warts and all that kind of stuff. But you know, the basic shape is uh, is quite powerful and muscular, down to the knees, and then again, these muscular shapes down to the uh, ankles, and then out to the feet. Another one down here, and to that foot there. Okay, now the arms. It probably just have the arms, you know, uh, coming out by his side with his fingers spread. Right, uh, top half right purple down to the elbow. Again, accentuate those muscle shapes down like this, you know, and uh, great big clutching hands coming out, you know, that kind of area shape that I'll put the details in later. Right, uh, the other one coming out, you know, perhaps a bit more like this, maybe coming towards you slightly, and uh, you know, the clutching hands on that side too there so there's the shape you see it looks quite menacing okay so let's put the details in now, i think the eyes little gimlet eyes you know and in, in this kind of skull head make, make them look as nasty as you can so uh, one little eye there like that okay and another little eye perhaps here like that right now to accentuate the skull like nature you can make the nose Think a bit like a, a skull shape you nose know, there, you know, perhaps you could put some wrinkles in because, you know, the orcs and the goblins have all this kind of uh, warty, loose kind of flesh, you know, horrible, you know, look about them. Right, so there's the nose. And perhaps a couple of lines coming down, like that, and other side of the mouth, which should drop quite low. Uh, but again, you know, this mouth is going to be quite horrible, open, full of fangs, you know. Like that, a nasty character. Okay, and uh, let me come to the lines there. And then this horrible, warty, bald head coming up like that. And you can put a few details in just now if you like, you know, a few stray hairs and warts, you know, and uh, that's like bigger there. And of course, um, they would have pointed ears, not as graceful as the as the elves. They would be more kind of lumpy and maybe sticking out, you know. So this this kind of thing here on either side, you know, coming out, something like that. And then of course the cheekbones, you know, accentuate those high skull-like cheekbones coming in here, coming right down to the, the chin just below the face. There we have our lovely, lovely <laughs> orc's face. Okay, right, with this like thicker pen I'll put in his uh, costume. Now, the thing about the, the, the orcs is that uh, you know, what they wear, their battle armour and so on, looks almost as menacing as them, you know. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put lots of spikes on it. You get this, you know, that kind of sensation of uh, jagged quality, you know. So um, let's see. These things coming up there. Another one coming up here. And another one coming up there. All this row, these repeat kind of lines. And these jagged shapes coming up. Something like this, 
you know. Keep it going like that, down to there. Maybe another one coming in there. See that? That adds to his, you know, menacing aspect, right? Uh, muscular, great muscular arms. And I think, again, these would be bears where you could put uh, lots of hairs and stuff like that. He may have something like, uh, you know, metal bands around his wrist, something like that. But you could also put on, start to put on the hairs and the warts and all that kind of stuff. They go to town and that. Uh, okay, and the other one coming in like that. Muscular, you know, coming down. Again, accentuate that muscle shape. Perhaps another couple of bands in there like that. Okay, let's thicken that up a wee bit. And uh, the arm around his body is probably coming up like this. You know, again, you can imagine the overlapping shapes of the armour coming in. Something like that. Okay. And then uh, from there, perhaps more armour coming down to kind of uh, double up on that pointed shape coming down. Something like that. You know, let me double that there like that. Okay. Okay, and you've got some more lines coming in there on his legs. Okay, let's put his legs in first. Uh, as I said, powerful, you know, accentuate those muscles, bulging muscles, you know. But at the same time, you know, get those warts in, spots <laughs> coming down. And again, I think, uh, there's another one there. Uh, he'd have some kind of a, uh, you know, boots on. Again, try and keep this character here. So we perhaps have something like, and maybe a slight line down the middle. And from that, you've got these spikes going up again. So something like that, you know. Keep that character going. That's jagged nature to his character. Like that. Okay. Right, and then perhaps armour plating around his feet, simple triangle shapes. You know, you could do something like that. Okay, his armour plating shapes there. And his legs appearing behind there. Now his hands, you know, his great big grasping, horrible, you know, talons in his hand there. And his knuckles. You know, and his fingers kind of spread, coming like this, and put the talons on them, you know, like that, you know, or well, then you can put some more warts and spots on his, uh, his hands, okay, this one here as well, and the knuckles coming on there. Right, and uh, his uh, fingers spread, you know, looks that's what you normally look about them, you know, like that. The talons coming down, and some more warts and spots. And there is our orc or our goblin ready for battle. Okay, right, well, I hope you check out the rest of my cartoon art school uh, series on uh, drawing fantasy cats because there's lots more to come. Okay, so enjoy, and in the meantime, happy drawing!